When it comes to football, a lot of us like football, watch it on TV, sometimes even play it. And some people are involved in football for a short period of time in their life. So much fun, so much tradition. But for others, it's a bigger part of their life and always has been. Uh, you know, football was always a, a focus for us. Uh, it's been a great teaching tool for our family. Ruth Kayser has been a youth football coach for the last 12 years for St. Cloud Tech. Her life with football began many years ago with her husband, Ron. I enjoy kids. I enjoy um, uh, the fresh, you know, willing to learn, excited to learn, ready to go. Ron was involved either as an assistant or head football coach at Tech since the early 1980s until his death in 2006. Uh, my husband passed away in 2006 and he kind of just initiated the program a little bit before that uh, with, you know, some community members who did a lot of work on that uh, in the Booster Club to get that program going. It's been a great program for kids. So I've coached, uh, you know, at, at the youth level there. I've been involved with tech football for about 30 plus years, I have to admit it. Ron and Ruth have 10 kids, Andrew, Daniel, Meredith, Paul, David, Mark, Thomas, James, Rachel, and John. They love football, and what football has meant to the family is different than it is for most families. I mean, it's been in my family for so long, so that's definitely part of it, but it's also just a fun, fun sport. Yeah, it's kind of in the blood. It, uh, I, you know, we didn't really know another way. The kids grew up with the game, came with their dad to practice, and were on the sideline for games. You know, once you're old enough to understand what's going on, you put some pads on, you help out. Uh, you know, we were doing stats and tea and ball and whatever we could uh, just to be around dad and the team. Tech football has been a part of the Kayser family for 30 plus years, and a Kayser has been on the sideline or on the field at Tech for that long too. Some of the Kayser boys were linemen and some have been either quarterbacks or receivers. The love of the game and dedication to it has been a common thread with the family. He was always preaching work ethic, uh, always preaching family. Um, you know, so those are kind of the big things for us, working hard, uh, being a part of a family. Uh, and, and football, that was a, a big part of dad's life. You gotta work hard, no matter what you do, you gotta work hard. All seemed good and normal in the Kayser family until Ron's diagnosis with esophageal cancer in October of 2005. Ron died after a six month battle in May of 2006. Football though has lived on with the Kayser family. Uh, you know, especially with dad not around anymore, we all gotta pick up the slack and uh, make sure that those, uh, those good messages that he taught, you know, for a while uh, continue to be taught. Andrew and Daniel went on to play college football at St. Cloud State. Paul is currently playing as a starting center at Harvard. It's fun to, you know, have contributed some little itty bitty thing to their development as a, a young man and woman. When Ruth coaches youth football, so does her sons David and James and daughter Rachel. Rachel played youth football in fifth and sixth grade, but wasn't allowed to play football in seventh grade. I wanted to continue in seventh grade and in eighth grade, but she said, no, you're done after youth football. So it was definitely something that I wanted to do. It was very fun for me. Ruth also gets some help from former players now in high school and those that she coached who have gone on to play college football at St. Cloud State. Oh, yeah. We have the St. Cloud State guys come every year, and uh, that's just a highlight for the kids. She inspi definitely inspired me to come back and help coach her team. That's really the main thing. I saw how much it helped me and how much all the older athletes just look, looking up and finding role models, and it, it's just awesome. What Ruth and the other Kayser family members do, they have a passion for the game and a passion for people. Uh, we've all done our part. Uh, it's been a family thing for us, and uh, we'll continue to, to have fun with it. You know, if you're willing to give a little time, there is no end to the possibilities of what you can do with kids. Football could be viewed by some as a violent, dangerous game, but Ruth Kayser views it as an opportunity to learn, to play as a team, to count on your teammates, and to enjoy time with family, friends, and kids. That I hope they learn a little about football, but a lot about teamwork and friendship and work ethic. And those are the things that really matter. And that's what I think football is a great sport because everybody can participate. Ruth's youngest son, John, played his final youth football game in October. This also marks the last of a long line of Kaysers playing youth football and being coached by their dad and mom. I think it's time to um, let somebody else take over youth football. So I hope there's lots of parents out there excited to enjoy the privilege of coaching kids because that's what it is. Ruth knows that she'll find something to fill her time. But I hope that kids know that I care, that, um, that I care that I make a difference for them. Ron always found time to talk to a young sports reporter despite the demands placed on him with 10 kids, a teaching position at Oak Hill Elementary, and the head football coaching position at Tech and uh, we'll continue to, to, to do, this, do the same things he did uh, in the community. That young reporter was me. For photojournalist Alex Wykowski, I'm Jay Caldwell reporting.